You saw the video of the phone, right? How awesome is that? It was rumored that Samsung had plans to manufacture this rollable phone, but sadly, it will not happen, at least not now. So today, join us for all the tea as we discuss Samsung rollable phone. Bad news might not be happening. To begin with, Samsung's foldable devices have been well received, and the firm has promised to keep releasing new models. When Samsung chose to continue producing foldable after the success of the Z Flip 3 and Z Fold 3, there was a third lineup in addition to the Z Flip 3 and Z Fold 3. Samsung's internal model designations for these devices were B4, Q4, and N4. The N4 was thought to be an entirely new gadget, and the B4 was thought to allude to the Z Flip 4, with the Q4 as Z Fold 4. Ice Universe, a mobile leaker, said on Twitter that the new device's covenant was diamond and that it is likely to have a rollable design. So yes, Ice Universe fueled this rumor. Responding to the claim, Yi Chung Hoon, CEO and top analyst of Yubai Research, said, the market for foldable phones overlaps with that for slidable phones. It will be difficult for slidable phones to create its own market. He also adds that Samsung seems uninterested in slidable phones, but have any other mobile phone brands considered this cutting-edge idea? You know you'll be surprised to learn that Samsung isn't the craziest person in this room. Hang tight, as we will discuss this in the upcoming segment. Have others considered it? Although no commercially available rollable or slidable phones have yet made it to market, several such prototype devices have been promoted by mobile manufacturers in their ongoing quest to become the next big thing in smartphone technology. An example would be the Oppo X, using a motorized powertrain system, and the display was unrolled or extended without wrinkling or creases. According to Mac rumors, the Oppo X 2021 was the first rollable phone that was expected to come to market, but the device was never made available. The Motorola team also demonstrated a rollable phone idea, although the firm has no plans to market the device to the general public. Well, have these companies thought about the cons? Probably, and we will share some of the pros and cons of a rollable phone with you. Also, why do Oppo and Motorola want to manufacture rollable phones? We presume it is because they want to challenge Samsung's foldables. Let's break it down for you. Samsung has a monopoly on the market for foldable phones. In addition to its dominant position in foldable, Samsung has also been amassing patents for rollable or stretchy phones with displays that can expand to tablet dimensions and contract to smartphone proportions. Along with Huawei, Oppo, Vivo, Xiaomi, and Lenovo are also creating foldable smartphones in China. Despite this, Samsung Display has acquired unparalleled competitiveness, particularly on related patents and manufacturing know-how, making it very difficult for these firms to catch up to Samsung's latest foldable. Also, like Apple, Samsung sales are through the roof. Samsung, too, has astronomical success in the marketplace. Based on projections, Samsung hopes to sell around 270 million smartphones in 2023, up from an expected 260 million sales this year. According to GS and Arena, the current estimate of 260 million units sold in 2022 is about 10 million more than last year, and the company wants to grow that by 10 million again next year. In order to do this, it will reportedly focus a lot on foldables. As far as I can tell, Samsung has no real rivals in the Western and European markets. Anyway, if you want to stay abreast of all the exciting developments in the world of smartphones, be sure to subscribe to our channel right now. Pros and Cons On the flip side, unlike the S22 series or any other smartphone that isn't foldable, a rollable phone's parts are more likely to fail and break than those of a static, in-place portion throughout its existence. This means that rollable smartphones must be put through rigorous testing to guarantee they last a very long time. Also, they will need significantly more security than foldable phones because they will be released. Phone cases would also be scarce for these gadgets unless Samsung develops a flexible, expandable design. On the plus side, rollable display panels are designed to be twisted, flexible, and rolled up and out. As a result, there won't be a crease issue, which is good news, and there will not be many complaints like people did with this Flip 3. 
Additionally, it is more likely to have superior water and dust-resistant safety, since producers may achieve a better closure on the inside and exterior. Foldable smartphones once seemed like something out of science fiction, yet here we are. In a few years, this phone will be available to the whole public. Regardless, what are your thoughts on the importance of this technological advancement? Please share your opinions with us your views in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.